Hello friends, this video on thermal properties of matter part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 3 before going ahead with part 4. Now that we have discussed what is temperature, what is heat, how do we measure temperature and the different temperature scales, we will now talk about gas thermometers. As the name says, gas thermometers, that means the thermometers in which instead of the liquid which is filled inside the tube, gas is used. So before we go ahead with gas thermometers, we will introduce ideal gas equation because it is ideal gas equation which is an whose an application is gas thermometer so before understanding gas thermometer let us look at ideal gas equation for any gas the behavior of a given quantity of gas are determined by a set of variables that is pressure volume and temperature so for any gas, in order to identify the behavior of any gas, if we know the pressure, volume and temperature, we can tell about or we can predict the behavior of that gas. So these three variables determine the behavior of a gas. Now when we talk of low density gases, that is the gases with very low density, mostly at low temperatures. So these low density gases obey certain basic laws. The first one is Boyle's law. I am sure you are aware of these laws. You have read about them in your previous classes. But it is just a revision so that we can go ahead with the ideal gas equation. So Boyle's law states that if temperature is kept constant, then the product of pressure and volume is a constant. That means if we keep the temperature constant, PV is equal to constant. That means pressure and volume are inversely proportional to each other. That means if pressure increases, volume has to decrease so that their product remains the same. The second law is Charles law which states that if pressure is kept constant in that case, Volume divided by temperature is constant. That means volume is directly proportional to temperature. That is if volume increases, temperature also increases. If volume decreases, temperature decreases. So these are the two laws which are generally obeyed by gases which are low density. Low density gases obey these laws. However, when we go towards high density gases, a deviation from these behaviors are observed. Now, let us look exactly at what is ideal gas equation. As I told you, imagine that instead of the liquid inside the glass, if gases are used for measuring the temperature, it is observed that it show same readings regardless of which gas is used. That means whichever gas you use, you will get the same readings. Why is it so? That's because all gases at low temperature have the same expansion behavior. That means all the gases behave in a similar way at a very low temperature. Therefore, irrespective of whichever gas you use inside a thermometer, the reading which you get is the same. That is, they show same kind of temperature measurement. So here comes into picture the ideal gas equation. Now, as we saw from Boyle's law, product of pressure and volume is constant. From Charles law, V by T, that is volume by temperature is constant if pressure is kept constant. Now, from these two equations, we can say that PV by T is constant, right? So, this we can write it as PV is equal to some constant multiplied by temperature. Now, experimentally it is found that this constant is nothing but capital R, which is known as universal gas constant. 
So this constant is known as universal gas constant or we can say that for any quantity of dilute gas we can write this equation as PV is equal to mu RT. What is mu? Mu is nothing but the number of moles of the number of moles in the gas sample. So this PV is equal to RT is the ideal gas equation. So this is the equation for a single gas. Now when we talk about in terms of moles, we can say PV is equal to mu RT when mu is the number of moles in the gas sample. So this is the ideal gas equation and we will see that this ideal gas equation is the basis of constant volume gas thermometers where we see that if volume is kept constant what determines the change in temperature that means what is that factor which drives the thermometer to measure different temperatures right so what what did we conclude from this we conclude from this that when we use gas instead of liquids in thermometers this ideal gas equation or we can say the ideal behavior of all gases at low temperature plays an important role because of this ideal behavior, even if we use any gas, irrespective of the nature of the gas, the, we get the same readings. Now, another important point to be noted here is that this ideal behavior holds true only at low temperature range, as I told you, for low density gases. But as we go towards real gases, we find deviation from the ideal behavior. So this ideal gas equation or this ideal behavior of gases is applicable only at low temperatures or as we said only the low density gases obey this equation. Now let us see how does ideal gas equation applies to constant volume gas thermometer. So as the name suggests constant volume gas thermometer that means a thermometer where gas is used inside the tube and such that the volume is kept constant. So what do you think, what is the factor that would drive the temperature, that would drive the thermometer to take readings of temperature or to measure temperature? Basically we saw that from ideal gas equation that PV is proportional to T, right? product of pressure and volume is proportional to T. Now we say that volume is kept constant. So if volume is constant then the only factor that can affect temperature is pressure. So that means in case of constant volume gas thermometer temperature variation takes place with respect to pressure. So here in this case temperature variation take place with respect to pressure, right? So let us see how does it vary or how does the temperature variation look like. So here is the conclusion temperature is measured in terms of pressure in a constant volume gas thermometer. Now if we plot a graph let us suppose we take temperature along x-axis and pressure along y-axis. In that case, we see that we get a straight line. That means temperature increases linearly with increase in pressure. Now let us look at what is absolute zero. We come across stating that absolute zero temperature. So what is that absolute zero? So it is in context with what we studied just now. That is the ideal behavior of gas at constant volume. As I said, absolute zero is the minimum absolute temperature of an ideal gas. So this is the minimum absolute temperature of an ideal gas. So when I talk of ideal gas, it obeys the ideal gas equation. Just now we talked about constant volume ideal gas equation. So and in and when at constant volume, 
the temperature is completely governed by the change in pressure. So this is how the pressure and temperature varies, right? It varies linearly. So as the temperature pressure increases, the temperature keeps increasing. Now looking at this graph, if you plot it backward or if you extrapolate it, you find that the minimum temperature that this graph shows is at this point, right? So this is the minimum temperature which corresponds to zero pressure, right? So this minimum temperature, this is the minimum temperature that an ideal gas can have. So this temperature is known as absolute zero. And experimentally it is found that at this point, the value of temperature is 273.15 degree Celsius. So this value is the absolute zero. So when I say absolute zero, this is nothing but 273.15 degree Celsius. It is also known as zero point. So this point is also known as zero point. And this point, this was what in terms of Celsius, in, when I talk in terms of Kelvin, this point is at 0 Kelvin. This point is taken at 0 Kelvin. So absolute 0 is nothing but 0 Kelvin. As we know, Kelvin is the SI unit. So absolute 0 is 0 Kelvin, which is equal to 273.15 degrees Celsius. So temperature in Kelvin is equal to temperature in Celsius plus 273.15. So this is the relation between the temperature in Kelvin scale and the temperature in Celsius. So temperature in, term in Kelvin is equal to temperature in Celsius plus 273.15. Now, thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.